Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today as you can see I am actually going to do a little bit of mystical agriculture. Um, because I would like to get some wither skeleton heads and the easiest way to do those is uh, by growing the seeds strangely enough. In fact I've had about, I've killed over a hundred wither skeletons with fortune 3 and I have got around about five heads so it takes a long time anyway so let's get started so the first thing i see these actually help there's a totem head from with it with a totem mod and if you look at the recipe for this they're quite straightforward in fact i actually found this one uh I probably don't need to do that let's escape should be able to oh i probably need to get it on my inventory here there is a recipe for it there we go. So with a skeleton skull plus a polished basalt, you got you'll get one of these totem heads. And the bottom side of it is this one, and the recipe for that. Um try again. It's three polished basalt. Polished basalt will probably be just uh, no, it's four polished basalt, isn't it? Or just be basalt um just run rotated well made into bricks like that. And this one here is a Wither Skeleton banner. This is something that I haven't... It's new, Entity Banners. I've got a few of these. We'll put them, this one down over here. Um, they look like this. And what they do is they basically give you a boost against them all. But in fact, I think it tells you if you press Shift on it. Yes. Nearby players get a bonus against Wither Skeletons. Helpful when you're grounding Wither Skeletons. Um, and these two, oh, I'll put that down over here too while I'm thinking about it. The totem gives you extra looting. It gives you looting too when you're in the in that area. So we can put that down. If you haven't got looting three, this will do as a reasonably good substitute like that. And you can see I get this boost now. So we'll look at the boost. I get looting two here. And that's from this. I've also got a crown. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I'll put my, put my lucky hat on again. Because my lucky hat is good for the next thing I want to show you. Now, solium ore is one of the things you get from the, the nether. And it behaves like... I haven't got any with me at the moment because I've ground it all up. But the, it behaves like sulfur, sulfur quartz ore. This one here. So if I take the salt touch here and break it, okay? And then we have a look at the use of this. We can smelt it and we get one. Okay, that's actually not very good because what we can do is put this down here and break it with the fortune pick. Uh, fortune pick. This is Fortune 3, plus all my other stuff on it, I get 5. So, that, so that's well worth doing. I think I've put these into here as it happens. No, I don't. Oh, I know I've put those over there. I'll put that in there for the time being. So I'm getting a little bubbly effect because I'm near, I'm near that banner. It's got a reasonable range, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> not the banner, I mean the totem. Let's just remove this totem and, or break its head off, whatever. So we don't get the effect anymore. I'll just put the I'll just put the head down in here. So it's handy for all sorts of things. Next thing we're going to have a look at is what we can do. In fact, I've actually got two crafting recipes for these. Uh, I only need them once. But what I did is, I mean, if you look at the um, the recipe for pedestals. So this is actually the the core of the crafting in uh, mystical agriculture. You you create these pedicles with stone, gold, and uh, red carpet. I created the crafting recipe and put it into this chest in here. Uh, I won't need these again, so I can clear those off as recipes. Uh, so I could actually get the parts ready. So that's the only reason I did it. So here we have. So we have the altar, and then we have eight pedestals. Now these are going to get laid out exactly like um, this infusion altar from Better End. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a pedestal pedestal here and then two blocks away it goes to, in the middle goes the the altar like that and then actually even shows you where you got to put the bits oh actually three blocks away oh I'll break that three blocks away so that one's in the right place so actually it's one block bigger than this one the other one there's one the other one's just one block away so you can just simply put these into place like this So actually really a, that's really a three by three crafting good in, in a way so that's what that's all about but there are some crafting items that we need to do so for example the first one we need is we need prosperity shards prosperity shards you got from prosperity ore and again the best thing to do with those is break them with the fortune pick you'll get lots um if you've got no space break them with the silk touch 
which pick and then break them later on when you get home. So we need one of these prosperity ingots like that. And then with the prosperity ingot, we can then make solium ingots. Actually, I need two of those. I don't know. I've got two bits of uh, solium dust with me. I did have some solium dust. Let's just get out half a stack of the wrong one. There's two different sol dust and solium dust. Now, sol dust, the recipe for this is basically you cook smooth sol stone. Smooth sol stone is cooking uh, sol stone, and sol stone is cooking sol stone cobble. So when you break it, you'll get sol stone cobble, which you then cook three times. You get the dust. That's the only. That is actually the only thing that's of any use. Um, you can, the rest of it, you can use as builders, building blocks. I think. But I just need two more of those and here like that. And that will give two solium ingots. Now, what I've been finding out, I was going to have a look at this over here, because this is actually important. Normally, when I've been playing mystical agriculture in the past, you get a lot of essence and not very much seeds. Um, so here, in this particular case, <laughs> when I've been farming, I'm going to see almost more seeds than, well, about the same, actually. No, they're not. I'm probably getting more seeds than I'm getting essence. Let's go and have a look at the farm. Uh... I'll just go quickly over there. From the farming, the other bits I've been getting from actually mining it up. Like this. Here I've got another six, two stacks of 64 plus these, which is, I actually haven't got enough space <laughs> for them, for typical. But the, the farm's getting fairly full. There's more inferior seeds here and the essence. So it's around about, looking at this, it looks about the same, doesn't it? So I'm getting the same number of seeds as I am getting essence from the farm. And that's unusual. Before you used to get the odd seed. But at the moment getting three is actually, uh, one to one is actually quite interesting. And the reason for it is it being interesting, let's have a look. Let's look at the recipe of the, the uses of these seeds. You can use a seed reprocessor and it will give you two essence. So in, in fact, you've actually got two stacks here compared to that. So you're getting a lot more. So it makes sense for the first time to actually use the seed reprocessor. At early game, normally I was just doing it later on when I got loads of, loads of seeds and no uses. Now, the seed reprocessor recipe is this one with two solium. Uh, have I got that wrong? <laughs> oh, maybe it's inferior essence. This whole second, let's have a look at the seed reprocessor. Let's have a look at the uses of this. Find it out. <coughs> oh. Oh, it's a machine frame I've got wrong. Okay, I need the machine frame. What's that? Oh, so, okay, we can make a free machine frame. I thought it was just a block of iron. I didn't check. <laughs> Typical. Right, so let's put the block of iron away over here. And let's make a machine frame for this one. I... It'll be this one here, won't it? Hopefully we can craft it in. Uh, we can almost. What was the middle bit? A one piece of polish i uh, just polished stone anthracite okay that's not big deal let's do that in my bag i'm going to have some stuff like stone I, i'm not really sure what we need to do polish it i think we have to just change that to a bag and open it up stone i think we just take four stone and either i'm going to polish stone let's have a look at this i'm not sure if you have to do bricks No. All right. Quick look at polished stone for a second because I didn't check that out. And that's bad. No. Smelting stone. They just stone it once. Okay. If it's just stone, that's no big deal. Let's push those away. They can the stone. Like great wool. I should have got a lot of wool now. I did set up the farm. One piece of stone. All right, right, just a stone, good. And that gives us the machine frame, and then we can put that into the middle here like this. Just shift click it, it will go to the right place. So we get a seed reprocessor. Fantastic. Now, the next level of seed reprocessor, look at the uses of this. We get an inferior seed processor like this. And it's fairly straightforward. We just need some inferior ingots, the seed reprocessor, inferior, and an inferior block. Well, at the moment, I've got a bit of a problem with space. Let's just make a bit of space in here. Put those up there. We can process those later on. In fact, I'll come back in the daytime. So here we are. One block is just nine essence in it. 
in the standard block format. And then you can take this and then we can have two uh, prosperity ingots with two, uh, well, with two inferior methods. By the way, this is shapeless crafting. You can put it wherever you want to, like that. And you can get these two of those. And then from that, we can then put this together. So the seed repressor goes in the middle, the block goes at the bottom, and these two go at the side, and we get an inferior seed processor. Mm -hmm. If you look at this one here, it says fuel uses one per tick, and its operation speed is 200 ticks. This one is 100 ticks, and fuel usage is two. So actually, that's the same, which is quicker. Now, however, the next one of these, I think the Prudentium bot was the seed reprocessors. The one I never actually understand is the growth accelerators, by the way. I haven't quite get that one yet. Right. So this one, here's the next one up. It's a Prudentium seed processor. Now this has got a speed of 80 and fuel usage is 2 per tick. So this particular case, you're saving fuel. So next one up here again is three but 54 it's probably about the same and then it goes up sort of and but this one is actually the cheapest of all to use the supreme seed processor which of course is expensive but what's really nice about just about everything in mystical agriculture you build from the previous item in the chain okay let's take this and now i won't do any more from that and the next thing that's really important is this infusion crystal what the infusion crystal does, as we take some stack of this, it basically makes you, gives you the next level up here. So you put this in the middle and then you just make a cross of these and then you get the next level up. It's pretty intimate, something like that. And that, that'll probably give me some reward because I've not done that before. And then this usually takes damage. You see its durability has gone down. It doesn't have a durability bar on this one. And I don't know whether you can actually enchant it. Let's go have a quick look if we can actually enchant this thing. Go through all this way mess over here. You might be able to enchant it with mending. I don't know. We'll see. Let's have a look. No, it's not enchantable. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up a recipe. Now, the recipe is in all of this identical. Oops. Take that off there. It's all well, I say identical, what I mean by identical is they all take the same format. So always on the diagonals go the essences. I think that's right. <laughs> we'll double check it in a second. Like that. And then you need a seed in the middle, and then you need whatever's on the outside. So let's have a look actually at this. No, I got that wrong. <laughs> Joyce said two. Uh, infusion essence. Basically, there's lots of recipes. Twenty-nine. It's actually on the ordinals go that, and then diagonals go the items. So these ones are all for armor. And then we start again, still for armor. Some of them are actually quite useful. Like this one, for instance, will give you a health boost. One of them gives you wither protection health boost. Two by using different, by using the previous one health boost. One health boost two from them. That's how it works. Same stuff for everywhere. And the one I'm actually interested in is the uses of these soul jars with the skeletons so the uses of those you can make a like the cow seeds no that's the wrong one where's it gone to soul jar enderman well but you can see actually straight away squids it's actually it must be supreme in one here with the skeleton so we get a wither skeleton, we'll give you a wither skeleton seed, and the uses of the wither skeleton seed will give you this essence, and you'll get two. Um, and the uses of the, oh, you don't get two, you get that. And then you can make wither skeleton skulls, you can make witherproof blocks, and you can make witherproof glass. Now we don't need that, because we've been to the end, and that's the easiest way to do the wither anyway. But it, they do work very well, so that's good to know. So this is the one I wanted to do. But I need Supreme Essence. And in order to get Supreme Essence, we've got to use a lot of these things up. Right. So the next, I have actually been and got the items I do need for that. Let's go and get them out of this chest here. You may have noticed before, I've got, with it, these are with the skeleton jars. All they do, you have to grind them. Oops, I've got enough space. Let's just put that up and that up here for the time being. So the first seed I'm going to make when I get a chance, and it's going to take a while to do this, is 
these seeds. So I'll tell you how we get those. In fact, we might as well go and demonstrate it. I haven't shown you how to get the jars yet. Um, and it does need a seed in the middle. And it depends on the uh, it depends on the item what type of seed we're going to use. <sighs> Sounds complicated. Or maybe I'm making it a bit more complicated than I should do, but it's not at all complicated. So here's the supremium essence. For that, we require one of those require 256 of these. So let's go and make what we can of those. Let's go and get oh, let's not do that. Let's go and get the seed repressor cooking first of all. Get some of these seeds converted. But I'll just put it down here. It makes no difference. There's no, there's no space to do it. anything of that like that. So what you need are jars. I'm going to show you how you get make a jar first of all. Let's clear this recipe off and look at mystical agriculture again. We can craft a jar. Well, let's let's craft a jar. So what we need. As you can see here, we need one iron ingot, one which makes one prosperity ingot with four of those, which and then we make use two solium dust with one of us to make a solium ingot. In fact, it probably be more sensible if I actually looked at the recipe. With empty jar, first of all, wooden tires, capsule, soil jar. There must be just an em. There we go, like this, and then you can empty them out like like that we'll just self sort of self craft it or craft it on itself and it will produce an empty one so soul glass is for solely sold us with one piece of glass doesn't matter what color and then this one we've done up covered already okay what i'll actually do i'll just make i'll just start this and make one of those it won't take too long by the looks of it everything was already there just check Oh, it's got to make some glass because I never have enough stock of anything because of that nice little bug of not being able to keep stocks of things. All right. We also need a dagger, a solium dagger, and that's actually not too difficult. It's reasonably early game. Look at the recipe for that. It's one diamond gold sword, two solium dust, and two solium ingots. So, in fact, you need six solium dust and one gold and two iron to make this thing. It's not actually that expensive. In fact, we could actually, that's probably already finished. I could actually craft one of these and you'll see what it shows you need. So there you are. That's what I think that's what I said we have to make. Yes, I don't need to do that. We'll cancel that. Because I've already got one made here and I've enchanted it. So I've enchanted it. I just put it in the enchanting tape and got smite five and looting three. And then I added mending to it as with a separate book. So that's how that works. Now, Let's see if we can make one of these. So to do that, we need to get all of that stuff ready and I need a crafting table with me. There's one over here. All we need to do is put that in the middle. Come out, take this out of here, what we can take out of it. Oh, I need, need some, I do need some coal. I'll tell you what, I'll just get a little bit more prepared and be back in a second. Right, I'm back again. So I've got the items out. I'm just out of my inventory. So let's just see. I'm not sure whether this is going to work. Let's just try it. With coal, you can split it into mini coals, or dwarf coals, as they're called. I'm not sure whether dwarf coals work in this. Let's just see if they do work. Could they do work? So then we can start to put seeds into here. So what I'll probably do is to get a hopper. I've probably got a hopper in here somewhere. Six of them. And then feed this on the side, probably on the side, feed it on the side, with some um, mini coals. I can, that is. I'm too close, yes, I can. So let's just take some more of these and split them all up. And the reason I'm doing this is it's, it burns the coal, irrespective of whether it's got seeds in there. So, Okay, that's not enough space, but there we are. So that's feeding those into here. Let's just double check it's going to the right place it is. So we're getting these in here. And I guess it's a standard furnace, so we should be able to go underneath here. Uh, let's just break it with a fist. But I'm going to put down a chest down here like that. Uh, let's get the chest out of here. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'll need two more hoppers. And I need a chest of some description. Oh, barrel will do.
So we'll put the barrel down here and then we'll put the hopper going into it. Like that. So we'll feed the hopper into here like this. And that should start to get the inferior essence in here. Good. And then on top, we'll just automate this with a, another way. In fact, I do need a second chest. Let's just get a second. Oh, wrong one. Let's just get a second chest out of here. Or barrel in this case. And we'll put one on top of this like this. Because we're not going to get... Uh, maybe I should do another one. I don't know. We'll see. So we can put all the mini coal into that one now. And then we can make some more mini coal and put it into there. Simple automation, <laughs> very basic, sorry. And you can control click this into here. It won't take that one because that's on the hot bar. So now we can put the rest of the seeds into that we've got in here, like that. And they're going to get processed. And then out here, we are going to get the other bit. So let's just put that piece of dirt back. And I have got it with me. Oh, yes, I've got it with me. Good. I haven't got my dank with me. I thought I was picking it up. So in here, we're slowly getting some more inferior essence. And I said to make one of these, we need four stacks of that. So let's just do that. So put that in the middle here. And then we can actually shift to click four stacks in like that. And then just move them into the cross position like this. And then we should get 64 Prudentium Essence. It's a bit slow. And then we can take this here like this. And make these. And we can do the second one like that to make the the tertium essence and then the next one of these is to do this and that makes because we got 16 we've got five imperium essence and so in order to get that we need to do the last one that gives us one supreme essence there you go in fact i suspect that if i'm not mistaken i probably got some rewards so that's what we've got for rewards so i've got some mystical vertical i didn't make that actually that's just a way of great making things grow faster and putting down seeds I, I'm not sure that to be honest with you not 15 of let's just try that on some grass I'm not sure exactly what we get if, if we can put this on some grass over here let's just do it bone meal oh it's just like just like standard bone meal okay it's night time I'll be back in a second okay so while I'm waiting we'll make some seeds up we need to make these prosperity seed based seeds <laughs> click those out we've got two of those uh, but for the for the one we want to do specifically is the um, wither skeleton seeds. You can make rubber seeds too. Um, wherever I can see them, they're always a bit difficult. They're all black, you see. Netherite seeds. Well, probably netherite seeds would probably be the similar one. Anyway, let's have a look at the recipe for this one. No, that just needs a prosperity. That needs a prosperity base. It's actually the ones with entities, which ones that we actually need to find. So anything with an entity, I have blaze. Low essence blade seeds. The recipe for that requires these solium seed bases. Uh, which is basically one prosperity seed base which we just crafted plus two solium dust like that. I got that prepared already. Let's make one of those like that. And then we get well, actually we're getting a few quest rewards while they're doing this. I was busy doing stuff, so night times come very quickly, so I'll be back in a second. So they're almost finished now. I'm just going to wait for these to actually to finish up here we've got nearly enough how um, much just going through in here we've got we will have enough when it's finished yes so we've nearly got our four sets i've already got three supremium here and i'm just waiting for these to finish actually while that's doing that let's just quickly visit the nether and i'll show you uh, how we grind the wither skeletons <sighs> well i'm getting shot at already there's a blaze over there so what i do is here's the wither skeleton as you can see just over here we need to get the dagger in the hand and this is an empty soldier so if i'm not careful i'll basically just walk up to him this has actually got enchanting three in it so i have to be a bit careful there because of course they're getting shot at at the same time here he comes so let's just get him when he comes back here like that and that should now have one or two wither skeletons in it <laughs> while i'm doing this but if you don't want to hit him you use your ordinary sword like this and that's it that's all you have to do to get these guys <laughs> they're quite rare and it does take a bit of time i think it took about two or three hours to get all of the bits and pieces so by now everything should be finished if i go the right direction and we should be able to make our wither skeleton seed 
I didn't expect to be able to do that this episode, to be honest with you. I thought I'd have to wait a bit. So we have got our four stacks in here, which is fantastic. So then we can craft in this next thing. Where has it gone to? We still have enough durability on this. Again, we move the ones down to make the cross. And then we get our 64 of these Prudentium Essences. Then we get 16 Tertium Essences. Where have they gone to? Here we go. And then from these we can get our four Imperium, Imperium Essences and then we can get our one Supreme Essence. Oops. Missed. Like that. So that's all we need. We've got our Soul Base. Like this. We've got our Seed. There was one more thing I would like to show you was the Watering Can. But maybe it's not so important for today. So all you have to do now is to put the the jar of uh, this the supreme essence on the ordinals that my that's my food run out so i'm going to replenish that in a short while like that oh we need to give this the redstone signal i've forgotten to do that so we have got a lever or something in my backpack i used to have some levers in here just or something like a button would be fine i don't have one <laughs> yes i have. can do that no problem at all but i I'll be back in a second with a button. So this needs a redstone signal to, to start working. And as soon as it works, it puts all the ingredients, good animation, of course, into here. And then we get out of here our first with a skeleton seed. Fantastic. Um, let's go and do the watering can next, because this is really, they're actually really good, these watering cans. I think they're probably my favorite ones. The watering can itself, the recipe I already made, because it's nothing to do with it. You can make this fairly straightforward. The recipe for it is, just a bowl, bone meal, and some four iron ingots will make a, a watering can. But can you can then upgrade this watering can. So look at the uses of that. So you need, oh, I need four Imperium ingots and mystical, vertical, <laughs> mystical fertilizer. Mystical fertilizer, um, it's about the only uses to upgrade the watering buckets. So I'll be back in a second with the bits and pieces. Right, the uses of this one, you can the bucket. We shall do basically just like that. So we just got the ingots I've already made. Didn't put that into here for some reason or other. It often doesn't. I think it's something to that. But that is a three by three area. Uh, and so let's go and put this seed in into the into the farm. And so let's see how we get on. We'll run. Actually, I haven't done my food yet. So as you will probably notice here, I have actually got a whole load of seeds already prepared so we're going to do a three by three area so we'll remove this one here and then we'll put in its place i've got some actually inferior farmland and that the recipe for this is basically farmland so it's so a hoe uh, inferior and some, some dirt will make this or you can actually hoe um no you can just put inferior essence on farmland that'll do that and the, the usual levels of this as well let's put this down here like this Let's go and fill up the bucket like that, just one right click and then hold down. I think we can shift right click this actually, to be honest with you. I'm not sure, yes, there we go. You shift right click it in the air and then it automatically sprinkles until it's until it keeps working <clears throat> like that. And as you can see, it's very fast. All of the infinite, there we go. And there we have our first with a skeleton crop, which will be automatically harvested by the farm. So I'm just going to leave that running. And you'll notice that this does turn off, but you don't have to have it in your hand when you're, it's very handy, you see, <laughs> so to speak. But if you put it into your inventory here, it still works, which can be a bit annoying. <laughs> but let's just rush it right to get and turn it off. Well, that's about it. Um, for mystical agriculture today and I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.